I was actually on my way to the gym, then I decided to do a very brief video that turned out to be not so brief. If I tell you how silly the stuff I used to write in this book are, you wouldn't even believe it, which means lead. Hi Munchkins, official Happy New Year. This is my first video for 2019. I'd like to apologize for the noise outside because there is construction as usual. I feel like I'm always apologizing for that. So because it's the new year, I know it's not the first, but it's still January and I'm, I'm an advocate for no pressure. You know how the new year starts and everyone is like, oh, you have to make New Year's resolutions. I'm actually one of those people that have never made resolutions. Last year I did try, but last year I didn't have any direction, so I was kind of all over the place. So this year I've decided to actually write my New Year's resolutions down and share them. The reason why I want to share them with you guys I found out that every time I share something like every time I say it out loud it actually happens and that comes with so many things that we will talk about in future videos I'm actually super pumped to share that with you basically it's manifestation you say something and it actually happens so we'll get into that you know much later right now this is a new year video new year's new re resolutions not really new me because by the end of the year I was already trying to become a better person so I moved into the year like as a better me i did write down my resolutions this year on first january just so i don't forget i'm kind of those people that write down stuff and don't go back to it like i go back to it after a while the reason why i wrote these ones this particular time is because when we came back from quebec city um i got my notebook from 2017 and i had never actually gone through it to read it and this time around i got to read it and i'm reading all these things and by the time i started this notebook I wasn't really, I, I never used to journal, like my sister used to tell me like you should write, you should write, just write how you feel, you don't, there is no comprehension, no nothing, just write, so if you see the stuff I used to write in here by the way, it's ridiculous, but it actually makes sense, that being said, sometimes it's important to plan your life so that you know exactly where it is you're going, so when we set our New Year's resolutions last year, it was me and my sister, um, when we said them, we really had no direction. The plan was to just find ourselves, like, try and make money, try and, you know, because we just, both of us just moved to foreign countries. We are from Uganda, and when we moved, like, you know how you leave everything behind? You're just turning over a new leaf. I saw this post on Instagram that actually did relate to me last year. I've been trying to look for it, but I can't find it, but I'm going to tell you more about it. It was basically talking about the different, the, fi the past three years so i'm going to start from 2016 in 2016 i didn't work half of the year so because i didn't work half of the year i got time to think and understand who i was and in 2017 2017 was the year of the misfits my sister and i used to call it year of the misfits like we were misfits she moved to switzerland i'm now living in montreal i had no idea what i was going to do i had no job i had nothing so but prior to that i was writing in this journal some of the things i was writing i'm actually doing right now and i don't you know when i when i read through this journal i was like did i even know that then but turns out i did so this talks this says a lot about your subconscious mind like sometimes you think you're writing down stuff and it's not registering but it actually is for example i got this book because i wanted to read something to you before i get into my new year's resolutions and share them with you i just want to show you guys the importance of journaling where i've made certain resolutions my resolutions after reading through this book on 9th may 2017 i wrote what would i do perfectly and teach it to someone what would that thing be that would change someone's life and it's me that gave it to them that it's me that helped them and then i realized all the way through this book i'm writing about weight loss blah 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 so this stuff has been coming from 2017 2016 it's not something that just came to me right now and guess what i'm doing right now i have an ebook weight loss recipes i have a weight loss program which is amazing by the way because Oh my god it's so amazing we'll talk about that in another video but <clears throat> sorry and you know you don't have to like write with grammar or diction or whatever just write how you feel it so writing down stuff just gives you something to look back on on how you felt and it also helps you measure progress so i wrote a lot about this weight loss stuff about something i could do i was trying to find myself what makes me happy like define myself i did a lot of that in 2017 and when i did that's why it was called the year of the misfits. In 2017, I decided to move. The whole of last year, I was finding myself. I was learning stuff. And I did not realize how much I had learned till I started to meet people along the way. I used to really undermine myself until 
recently when I'm like, oh my god, I've gained so much knowledge. That being said, let us go to my 2017, sorry, 2019 New Year's resolution. So, I divided my resolutions into four main parts, and that is business, personal, fitness, and healthy habits. For business, definitely, since I'm in nutrition, weight loss and stuff like that, I've been doing a nutrition course. So I'm looking to get certified. That is part of my business and also self-development somehow because I really love it. You know, if anyone told me I would go back to school today, like, I would be like, what? Because I really hated school. But guess what? I don't hate it anymore since it's something I'm actually interested in. So I want to get certified. So I have weight loss from scratch, which is amazing. I talked about this earlier. So it's 90 days of weight loss. Basically, every day you learn something new. It's baby steps. I'm not overwhelming you with a lot of information. Every day you learn something small and something new that's going to help you to create a better lifestyle and, you know, a healthy life. There is a main course which involves, like, a lot of accountability so that course is a little bit on the higher side but then i'm trying to create a mini so that it's available for everyone so that is what i want to do and then of course create meal plans which i do right now but it's still part of my business plan continue creating meal plans and many programs personalized for different people and then i want to since i love dessert so much i want to make a healthy dessert ebook which oh god i cannot wait to make that I ho i'm hoping to have that by 13 april which is may 30th birthday let me say something you guys if you have a plan if you have like a business plan in mind and you're those people that procrastinate so much the best tip you can ever do for yourself is give yourself an invisible deadline and talk about it to the world whether people register or not just put it out there when you put it out there you start working towards it because you know you have a deadline but if you don't have a deadline you don't do shit so that is a tip for you guys and then i also want to help people grow their businesses in the past year I've learned so much about growing online businesses that I would love to help people and help them in this kind of way that is affordable because I don't know if you, any of you has tried but damn that shit is expensive everything you have to pay for but I, I've managed to make everything make my business and profit with zero charge and I'm about to share that with you guys very soon so that and then I also would like to grow my YouTube channel and Instagram page and all my social media. Those are the two, my two main social media. So I would like to grow them to at least 50k. By the end of this year, I'm going to make it to a number that I want because I plan to put in the work. And yeah, so those are the things when it comes to business. And then when it comes... Oh, I forgot one thing. I want to get sponsorship deals. Like I've been applying. I did apply late last year for a while and then I stopped. But I'm going to start again with that of course because i use all these ingredients that are brands i want to get brand sponsorship and that is also part of my business goals so i'm putting it out there now the let's go to the personal growth for personal growth i want to stop procrastinating oh my god i procrastinate too much the thing is that now i figured out what i want and i know exactly what i want the thing is that the problem is i keep procrastinating and that is not good sometimes i could have done something and you know put it out of the way but i keep uh, until last minute which sucks i need to stop that and then i'm here i have wake up at least uh wake up at least by 7 a.m daily because i want to become a morning person i'll explain more about the morning pr person thing and the routine in another video but lately i haven't been doing this because i've been working on my program so that makes me stay up till late just to make it perfect for you guys so i stay up late and i end up waking up like at 10 because i've slept like at 3 but that is fine that is temporary only for this week maybe two more weeks and then i'll be done and that, then the next thing is journaling i told you guys about journaling it's very very powerful sometimes you write down things and you think your brain hasn't registered but your subconscious mind has so i want to journal more so that i can look back on stuff that i used to think then and how i'm thinking now and see the progress that i've made of course i want to learn more meditation so that i'm zen and you know visualization to visualize where i want to be i put this together because for me they go hand in hand i read this book last year called the morning routine and not only that most of the books self-help books i've been reading talk a lot about visualization meditation try it for yourself for me it actually did work it helps me focus and show me the bigger picture and of course positive affirmations i have to wake up every day and tell myself all these things i want to hear so that my subconscious mind registers them and you know makes them a part of me like oh i can do this or like or um you know i'm 
successful or I attract money, all these things, there's so many things. So affirmations. So when it comes to fitness, I love fitness, like and I post this upon myself until it has become part of me. So for fitness the goal is still the same work out at least four to five times a week and then get lean and get fit like I used to be in twenty sixteen. So in 2015, I lost a huge amount of weight because I was always overweight and then I got to the fittest I was. Right now, I'm fit but not as fit as I used to be. I want to be as fit as I used to be and better so that I'm lean all year round. You'll learn more about that in the program. Then, healthy habits. So for healthy habits, I want to drink two liters of at least two liters of water daily and... Uh, you know make my daily morning shots a thing because i do these morning shots that i will share with you in a video oh my god they're so healthy they're like metabolism boosting they're good antioxidants and i also do this where i drink celery juice every morning so these are just things that i'm trying to adopt and get healthier this is not the only list i have i mean well this is the list i have written down but there are a lot more things i want to do than this this just happens to be the things that I wrote down. So don't be overwhelmed. Just write down whatever it is you feel like and you can build on that later. So I hope that helped you guys set your New Year's resolutions and do not feel like other another person's resolutions are more, you know, legit than yours. No, yours matter too. However silly it is because if I tell you how silly the stuff I used to write in this book are, you wouldn't even believe it. So on 4th April 2017, I was like, what is my happy place? I don't know. Like, and I'm like, I like her. It's just some random things. And you know what? I don't try them in order. I was actually on my way to the gym, then I decided to do a very brief video that turned out to be not so brief. That being said, I'm gonna go to the gym now, and I hope you guys have an amazing new year. Personally, I'm so looking forward to it, and I'm so grateful for 2018 because I learned so much and experienced so much. And... Don't put so much pressure on yourself, guys. Whatever time of the year it is, you can make a resolution for the month or whatever because you know what? All this stuff that I'm making resolutions for, I had started working on them in the previous year, so no pressure, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you make your own goals and I hope you learned something and picked something new. And as always, if you're on your weight loss journey, stay motivated, be patient, trust the process, and spread the love, guys. See you guys next time. Oh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of me this year. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weight loss, fitness, healing naturally, all that good stuff. Everything food, everything weight, everything girls, everything self-development. You're going to see it here. So subscribe and ring the bell right next to it to be notified when I upload a new video. See you guys next time. Bye.